And I actually have another question. This is from uh, Rich Jones, who is the news director of WOKV, uh, which is one of our local, local talk and news stations. And he wants to know, what do you think of Tim Tebow? Because he actually uh, made the same list with you with the uh, of influential people. And Tim Tebow is, of course, one of the sons of Jacksonville. I loved what was happening in Denver. Because so many people were talking about how he was not a good quarterback <laughs> and that the guy ahead of him on the Denver team was far better. I mean, I heard these experts. And then I would hear uh, an interview with Mr. Tebow, and he sounded like a guy who is the kind of guy that that's if you, if you hire someone, this is what you ask for. That the guy talks about putting time in, talks about getting better, talks about doing his best, and keeps a good level head about himself. That's about all you can ask for <laughs> from someone with the credentials that he brought from college. Yeah. And then once, I mean, the, 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 the crowd seemed to want this kid, and once they got him, magic started to happen in a hilarious way that they would be losing and, okay, turn that off, move to something else, turn <laughs> back. No, they won. <laughs> and he did it. Jack Armstrong. There used to be a guy on the radio named Jack Armstrong. Your grandfather would be able to tell you about him. Jack Armstrong, the all-American boy. So when you listen to him, now, I want to get something straight. God, mm. the United States of America, God is in our songs. Mm. Um, people are not allowed to worship because politically, so forth and so on. But the mantra was supposed to be that people came here for religious freedom mm -hmm. to worship any way they wanted to. It's about God. I mean, we gave the Bible to Native Americans. We gave the Bible to Africans. So this white American scores a touchdown and he kneels to thank his maker for blessing him with the help and health and the courage and the thing. And all of a sudden, the money-making people on the TV screen and in in the in the newspapers find fault with that. I feel that they were much happier with the clowns who decided to design some kind of dance and twirl in the face of the fellows they just scored on. Mm. Strange behaviors. Yes, I, I totally agree. But I like Mr. Tebow, and I hope he enjoys his life. <laughs> Thank you so much, Mr. Cosby. Cosby and we have yeah, your show. Well, you are having trouble with speech class. <laughs> 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 well, and usually you can't shut me up, so I guess it's I'm talking to a legend no, and I'm no, a little intimidated. You say Bill, isn't it? <laughs> yes, yes. No, but I, I like I like hearing you say, Mr. Cosby, because the Mr. part is very important since you're only 12 years old. Mm, yeah, well, that's only how I act. I'm um, actually much. I'm old enough to remember you on LP. So, <clears throat> a little bit older than Anybody 12. Anybody can remember that. You you probably heard the LPs and didn't pay for them. Uh, no, I was 12 when I heard them. You see? Uh, well, thank you, and thank you so much, and we'll see you uh, when you come here to perform in Jacksonville. And again, Mr. Cosby, thank you so much for your time. And thank you for saying Cosby. <laughs>